I know pot stands aren't necessarily an exciting topic, but from what I've seen, they are often a source of frustration, especially for those of us who spend a lot of time in the bush. Either they don't support a wide enough variety of pots and cups, or they are complex with too many interlocking parts, or they are heavier than they should be. Since I already own and still own all kinds of camp cooking devices, it's only natural that I would settle on one type that I prefer, the alcohol stove. That being the case, I began to experiment with different kinds of pot stands, pots, windscreens, and stoves. I finally assembled all the components for that, for me at least, was the ideal solution for all my needs. The Critter 2 Multi-Fuel Stove Stand. I first found out about this pot stand on Brian's backpacking blog. It's one of my favorite blogs for camping and backpacking. I tracked down the guy who designed it, Peter Nelson, and ordered one. The first thing I noticed was how light it was and what a small package it folded into. Later on, I discovered more unique features. What the heck though, the best way to show it off is to cook a trail meal. So let's make some food. And as we move to that, and as I go through this video, I may mention a number of blog sites, websites, people, and products. I'll try to include the URLs in the description box below. Let the cooking begin. The Critter 2 is easy to fold, close, or open. The titanium critter weighs one ounce. It has gripping teeth on both the feet and the pot rest. The holes at the bottom of each foot are stake points. I've seen where a camper threaded some cordage through these holes and tightly strung the critter tube between three small trees growing close together and was able to cook at whatever height he chose. As I've already mentioned, critter two is a multi-fuel stove. This means you can burn wood in it, esbit, and other solid fuel, sterno, or alcohol stoves. I'll use my Trangia stove for this video. A lot of us carry small big lighters for fire making. Trying to light an alcohol stove with one is problematic and you usually end up burning your fingers. To get around this, I just dip a long stem twig into the fuel and light the twig with the lighter. Works every time. I usually start by making a cup of coffee, mostly because I like my coffee but I also found that the simmer ring on my Trangia stove works better if the stove has been burning for a while and is really hot. So fixing a good cup of coffee kind of heats things up a little bit. I usually take my coffee with cream and sugar so I prepare individual packets mixed with my preferred proportions. Now on to the main course. It is a dehydrated soup mix that requires simmering for about seven minutes. I dump in the contents after I bring the water to a boil, stir it well until everything dissolves, then I adjust the simmer ring. The trick is to have practice adjusting the ring in advance. By doing that, you determine which tools work best. Be sure they're available when you're ready to adjust the ring. I also have a good supply of travel packets of condiments to make my trail meals taste better. I get these packets from a company called Minimus Biz. Their link is in the description box of this video. We are now ready to simmer the meal. I really enjoyed showing you the Critter 2 pot stand. I hope to see you out on the trail soon.